in a way, you know, there already is a biological mechanism for mind melding. So let's talk about what a mind is, first of all. Uh, a mind is made up of neurons. It's a neuronal concentration. And that is not to be taken for granted. Every animal does not possess a mind. Every animal does not possess a brain, right? They, they have nerves, you know, and there are these stages at which the mind um, has evolved to more complexity as we look at animals have evolved, right? So we had at a certain point, you know, there were no vertebrates. You know, you had your mollusks, your bivalves, you had your sponges, you had your jellyfish, right? These are essentially brainless creatures. But then you start getting brains and the brain has more complexity. You know, like when you get to mammals, you can do things like simulations in your mind. Um, and then eventually you get to primates and, a, you know, maybe some cetaceans you, and some other Creatures, you get what is known as a theory of mind. I know that you also have a mind and I have a mind, right? And so it's at that stage that you can mind meld. So on the planet Vulcan, the Vulcans come from the planet Vulcan, which is a different planet from Earth. There would have been a very different evolutionary pathway or a different evolutionary pathway. Mm -hmm.